Hello and welcome to another Minecraft video. In this video, my goal is to catch a live salmon in a bucket of water. And we are here at the Azalea Tree Outpost um, because there's a lot of nice shallow water, which I'm hoping is going to make it easier for me to find the salmon. And don't see any creepers or any mobs around at the moment. So I'm hoping that is going to help me find some salmon. Although I do hear a drown over there, but last time I caught a live salmon, I'm pretty sure it was here. Oh, there they are. Oh, heck. And there's a drone coming after me. They always come after me. Alright. Ugh, I'm such a chicken. What a cow. You're cute now, but I don't need a cow. I need a salmon. I don't like going down really deep because that's it's hard for me. Okay, come over here, little babies. There's a skeleton over there. Great. You do have to have water in your bucket to catch the salmon. Why are the salmon hanging around the drowned? That's really not cool for me. I just can't seem to get the bucket on the salmon long enough. So maybe I need to do it shorter. Could that work? Is it going down? It's getting pretty close. I'm gonna go make it day and then I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna try something different. I think that I was holding my bucket on the salmon for too long. So this time I'm gonna try short click on the salmon because I've been having a hard time picking salmon up. And so maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's the short click is what I need to be doing. This seems to be the best place for salmon. spin. Why do they do that? Come over here, little salmon. Ooh. Oh, I'm just not good at picking up salmon at all. Get away from me, dude. They're always too far away. Okay. Um, hi, sheepy. I'm not really looking for a sheep right now. Maybe if 
don't really bother me. Alright, somehow I did catch a salmon before, but now it just seems like impossible. Did I get him and then did I give him away? Oh great. Underwater skeleton now. Gotta love it. How on earth did I catch a salmon before? No, I could use a bird. I don't know if I can kill, kill a bird in the water. I just want your arrows. I don't even think I got any feathers, but... Darn it. All I got was meat. Thank you. My dear. I don't even have my shears or a little haircut. Welcome to another Minecraft video. In this video, I'm going to show how I have been developing the Azalea Tree Outpost. And the reason I started doing this is because I was trying to catch salmon. And this is the only place where I have reliably caught a live salmon that I can use in my salmon waterfall experiment. Um, but I was having a hard time because I had to swim around in the water trying to catch the salmon and then it was kind of a trek to get back to here and I had to do deal with drowns and zombies and creepers uh, to get back. So I, in my scaredy cat way, decided that I would create a path across um, over to the island because the place that I have been catching the salmon was on the far side of this little island. I'm just gonna make it day real quick. So, in my scaredy cat way, I built across here um, with lots of windows so that I could see whether there were any creepers around. And then, um, I just happened to catch this chicken I'm um, using some feed, so that's why I have a chicken in here laying eggs, which is nice. Everything here is very safe and scaredy cat is why um, it has developed this way. So what I did is I kind of walled in the outside of the island. Um, this right here is actually the area where um, when I first came to the Azalea Tree Outpost, I, um, I created a little tiny, um, not even a cave house, like just 
a few squares. And then when I came out, this is in one of my earlier videos, the creeper was right by the door and blew the whole thing up. And that's how this deep little hole was created. There's usually a drowned in it. Um, so anyway, that is um, where we are right here. So I walled all this in, kept the mushrooms there because I think mushrooms are cool. Um, and then I walled in the rest of the island. So as I've been doing this, I've been digging up all the sand. I um, did manage to corral two sheep in here, and there's another sheep. When this grows into wheat, I will um, harvest the wheat and feed it to the sheep, and that will make more sheep. So kind of excited that I have two sheep now. Um, okay. So, my real next step then is, let's see what I got here. The only thing here of value, uh, I guess I'm, I'm going to put down a few things before I go swimming because I don't want to lose them. Um, so let's see here. One thing I learned is, um, so I used to always have a pressure plate by my door but when you have animals in your house you don't want to do that because then if a creeper is outside your door then your animal might step on the pressure plate and um, blow everything up I haven't had that exactly happen I have had a block fall down and open up the door and a creeper blew things up so um, I did have that happen okay but what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna put down my valuables and then I can go try to catch a salmon. And if, if I catch a salmon, that's gonna make this a very happy day. Okay, so I'm putting down everything that I really don't wanna lose. To catch a live salmon, you have to have a bucket that has water in it. Uh, so that's why I have that. I'm keeping one of each of my stone tools because those aren't very hard to make. Um, we won't need, well, we'll take four watermelon because those are easy to get. Okay, now that sound, I hope, yeah, it's just this wandering trader or whatever. There were some pillagers here earlier and that scared me a little, so I ran away. <laughs> um, okay, so, oh, I just picked up another egg. Well, that's okay, we're going to keep it on this. Okay, I'm trying to keep the sheep out here. So that when the wheat grows, they will be together. Oh, sheepy, I hit you. Darn it. Oh, well, there's some seeds. Okay. Okay. I try not to hit the sheep. Because I certainly don't want to blow up my sheep. Okay. So, there's a salmon right there. Now, because I'm a scaredy, I'm just going to close this. Okay, now there's also drones down here, so yep, somebody's throwing a pitchfork at me. Darn it! It's always so. It's one of those drones that has a pitchfork thing. I'm sure by the sound of it. And I'm down to three hearts. See how they spin around? Those stupid drowns. So now, even though I'm right here next to my fort, um, stupid drowns are causing me trouble. But there's a salmon swimming right there. So what I'm wondering is, if I kill these pitchfork drowns, whatever, I don't, I don't know what's called. Probably not called pitchfork, but, uh, then will I be able to catch the salmon here more successfully? Now, I could catch fish with a fishing pole, but that's not what I want. I need a live fish for my experiment. So, um, I may have to go drown tending here. But I've got three hearts. 
Um, I've had a hard time even catching salmon with all my hearts, so I really don't think I'm going to catch salmon until I get some hearts back. So, stay here and eat for a moment. I think I need to learn how to kill those things better. Okay, so now I have four, four and a half hearts. Ugh. So what I'm going to do with this area in general, oh, watch out sheepy, don't want to hurt the sheep because I like sheep, because I can make beds out of them, haha, <laughs> by shearing them I mean. And then I also I really like to, I don't have my shears on me, um, I really like to use the shears to trim the leaves because if you put the leaves there yourself they will stay and it makes a nice block that keeps most things out um, but still lets light in so it's kind of like almost as good as glass now the only problem um, spiders seem to be able to come in through leaves and um, if they're leaves that were already there and then you cut the tree out, the leaves are gonna disappear. So that's something to be aware of. Look at that guy. He makes me so mad. Hmm. So maybe in my next video, I will go drown hunting. Maybe I will first watch a few videos about drowns um, just so that I know what I'm doing. Um, so, oh, look and see, there's my salmon right there. So, that is the problem. So, anyway, um, oh, let me show you one more little part of my azalea tree outpost that I haven't shown you yet. Okay, if I get another chicken, we can breed chickens in the house. Haha. -ha. Okay, so... If you have seen any of my other videos, you know that I always like to connect everything up together. So, of course, I looked at the coordinates and dug down and I connected. Oh, hi. Um, I don't know what these traders do. I guess if they do something, I'll find out. So I connected my azalea tree outpost underground to the... Azalea tree expanded outpost here and here you can really see what a mess this is. There's no drown down there, but um, But often there is because everything kind of flows down there And um, you can see it's kind of a mess still, but I'm in the process of fixing it up more Oh, hi, okay. I don't know much about traders but I kind of avoid them because I don't want anything to go wrong. I guess I'm a little bit afraid of them, which is probably unfounded. Okay, hello trader. I mean, obviously I'm not that afraid because I'm walking right past it. Oh, oh, there's a lead. Thank you. Leads are good for when you want to make a pet. So anyway, I'll show you what's at the bottom. This is from my azalea tree outpost video, which is um, when I initially, okay, so that goes back to the underground safe part. This part goes to the lush cave, which is really why I did this, was I wanted to connect um, the azalea tree outpost and the lush cave together. So you just keep going down. And of course, I did this by looking at the coordinates. And there's our lush cave underground. So, um, it's lovely. Um, okay, let me just see. If I can open this up a little. My initial vision, so we can 
so I don't fall in there, was to um, like open this all the way up so you could see it from the surface. Uh oh, knocked something down there. Is that something valuable? Hmm. I don't know. So anyway, I haven't actually gone down there from up here because I know there are some mobs down there. But, um, so, anyway, um, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.